Hello, friends and family. This is Megan Bowen, aka Tom Luke Luke And you guys love when I talk about dating stuff. And I was talking with one of my friends the other day, and then I was brought up something that was similar to one of my dating stories. So I thought I would just share random dating stories. I just hope that you can enjoy this. If you had a stressful day, just come here and I hope you can enjoy my stories. So let's start with the first one. So I was just walking in Hyundai between exit 9 and exit 8 on that side of the road, passing up Wonder Place, and I was just looking good, honey. Like, really good. I saw this dude looking at me. When you see that a dude's interested, you know guys like to be the ones that make the first move, you know? So what you gotta do is just make it seem like you're open to it. So I looked at him, gave him a little smile, to make him smile, you know? He runs and catches up with me, and then he's like, and then I was like, Meh. and then he asked me for my phone number, everything like that. So I gave him my phone number. So now, the very next day, because it was definitely a Friday, so we went out on a date on Saturday. So we met up, and let me tell you, it was going great. We were having a great time. We was vibing. Everything was fantastic. He's cur. Then suddenly he just was like, one of me tells me me tell on you, and then he was like, oh. Okay, and I just told him what job I have, you guys know. I explained everything, what I'm doing, etc. So then I was like, okay. And then he just voluntarily started telling me like how much money he makes. He's like, well, I only make 2 million Korean won a month, which is like 1,800 US dollars a month. And he's like, how much do you make? And then I was like, oh, well, you know, that's not important as long as we vibe and having a good time. You know, I don't mean, I don't care about being a breadwinner. No, but I only make $2,000. Like, how much do you make? Like, come on, how much do you make? So then after he was asking for a good 15 minutes, I kept trying to change the subject. Like, oh, it doesn't matter. So do you like this? Do you like that? Do you like this? Like, no, this dude was just not having it. And he kept asking and I was like, okay, fine. So I told him how much money I make and he was like, oh. His already down face just went even more down oh and then he popped up for one second and I thought maybe he was getting over his whatever feelings he had and then he was like well it's not as much as I expected and he kind of was like like that kind of like turned up jealous moments. I was like no this heifer did not and I was like okay with your little money make yourself why don't you finish paying for this meal and I'm not leaving the date you've taken me to that coffee shop and to that movie I'm about to spend up all your $2,000. <laughs> okay, no. But then I cut it short. After the movie, we were supposed to like hang out. Cause in Korea, sometimes when you go on dates, it's always like an all day thing. Every time I've expected it's just gonna be like at a coffee shop or something and that's it. It always goes on longer. Like it's like, especially on a weekend, it's gonna be like a whole day affair. So what I started doing always, all the time, is I say that I have a schedule before and behind and this is the time slot that you're allotted like two hours or have some friends in the area who can be like my friend's going through a crisis now sorry <laughs> yet again it was horrible the whole rest of the time he just wouldn't even look me in the eyes and i was like are you kidding me you won't even look me in the eyes i cannot believe that there are dudes who would care that much if you make more money than them and then try and insult you see if you cared and you were a little bit like hurt that i made more money than you okay whatever but this fool done tried to tear me down by being like, oh, well, it's, it's not as much as I thought. Bye, Felicia. So anyway, Megan ain't no gold digger. Just let that be known for the official record. So the next guy we actually met on Instagram. So we were just talking on there and the boy had some really good pictures. I was like, boy, you look fun. Now I've experienced this. Korean people are expert, expert photoshoppers, man. Anything you get, they're gonna Photoshop it. You go and get a passport. Okay, you see how I have this mole somewhere? Is that on this side? Yeah, I have a mole like right there. Dude, I didn't even ask, but this mole just be disappearing left and right and all the, every time I get my picture taken by a Korean photographer, so I'm like, bro, if you touch the mole, I'm gonna have to slap you. Get my passport done. It's super photoshopped. They'll even let you watch them photoshop and you can tell them what you want to photoshop. You want your jaws to be smaller, your eyes to be bigger. They will sit there and show you everything they're doing and you can decide if it's okay or not. Because people here, when they take pictures, they're very picky about them and they kind of have to be because 
when you submit your picture for when you submit a resume for a job you have to include a picture so there's places that will take a picture of you like in a business suit and they'll photoshop it whatever way you need and stuff like that I digress so sometimes when you meet people especially on the Instagram there are these people who get like some semi-famous and then you see them in real life and it's like oh or they become so famous like somebody I'm not gonna say no names and then they were on a TV show and everybody was like whoa you that okay they're really good at setting stuff up making themselves look good in pictures you meet people they be looking different it's, it's that you. It's this. so this guy I was like wait now he is too fine this this help will probably photoshops too so I just prepared myself for the worst when we met but we met right he looked girl he looked exactly like the photos. He looked so good. I was like, yes, yes. And then he opened up his mouth. Now see, I'm not superficial at all, but there are certain things that I find gross. And I don't know if it's because my stepmom is a dental hygienist, but you see my teeth, they're very well taken care of. These are all my real teeth. I'm very meticulous about my teeth. I floss every day. I brush for at least two minutes, three times a day. Like I am serious about brushing my teeth. So to me, teeth that have either, they have a lot of butter on it. You know, uh, butter, I guess plaque, when people get like stuff on their teeth and it's white. In Georgia, in Atlanta, we call it butter. We're like, he got all the butter on his teeth. I don't know what you say in your area, but we call it butter. And I cannot handle people with brown teeth or people who have a lot of spit in their mouth. Like when they talk, sometimes there's spit from like the top of the bottom of their mouth. You can see in their mouth. I'm sorry, mouths are very important to me. I need your teeth. I mean, they don't have to be as pristine as my own, but they do need to be clean. Like they need to be clean. Otherwise, I can't kiss you. Like if you have rotten teeth, I can't handle it and I was like why and we were going to a restaurant a restaurant and eating and I was like oh god and I could not really eat that much food and I know it's horrible and teeth can be fixed but I just it's one of those things that it's really hard for me to get past so it wasn't really his fault it was more mine I kind of ruined that because he did seem like a nice guy but I, I can't handle it and I'll handle it. So I don't know if you found it entertaining or at least fun to watch and listen to. I hope that you did. Um, yeah. So if you like this video and like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page, which is down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, like me on Facebook. I will see ya.